This is the Avco, a Bassmaster Elite at Santee Cooper Lake. It's full of fish. Got big ones. Um, it's had my number, to be honest. Pressure of paying your bills on your shoulders, feeding your family. It's a crazy game we play, man. Come on, oh, you didn't see that. We're staying at Navy Heights Boat Barn, actually. I'm not drinking that many beers. I'm not saying I'm not drinking no beers. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs and Davey left his windows down. Sleeping funeral style. <laughs> that dude's been embalmed. The service is ready. <laughs> Try to get back close to making that classic. So that's the goal this week. We, we dug ourselves a, a huge hole. We're at the very bottom of the pack. Ran over by a tractor trailer, backed up, and then ran over again. South Carolina ate my lunch and then some. 15 pounds, five ounces, gives him 21 pounds, seven ounces. I'm ready to go back to Texas and see my family and love on my baby girl. I'll see y'all later. We are at Santee Cooper, stop number four of the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series season. Stop number, uh, I don't even know. Four? I hope. When you have bad ones, you don't forget it. You forget how many tournaments you've had. So, uh, yeah, three or four, somewhere like that. Oh, just finished up Lake Mary, ended up like in the 80s. Wasn't great, but you know, it wasn't a total bomb. Murray went good, uh, sitting some, somewhere inside the top 10 in AOI. Uh, I mean, we're not even halfway through the season yet though. You know, we're, ju we're just getting started. So it was a good week, it's a really cool lake. A lot, of, a lot of fish catches that week. It's not gonna be like that this week, you know. The weights might be just as good or close to it, but the fish catching isn't gonna be as good. Now we're here, Santee Cooper Lakes, stop number four of the Bassmaster Elite Series. We are at Santee Cooper. We are staying at Davy Heights Boat Shed. Pretty cool spot. Yeah, we're staying, uh, we usually stay at Takaw. Sorry, we didn't make it this year. We're staying at uh, Davy Heights Boat Barn, actually. It's where he keeps a couple of his boats and uh, he's got a little man cave, a couple beds and a shower and uh, appliances. Pretty cool little spot right on the water. So it was uh, vinyl siding and uh, OSP, nothing, no walls, no, nothing. It was literally a shed. Then insulated, then sheet rocked, then heat and air, and then, you know, just all that. It, it was literally a shed, but it was a big shed. It's a fish camp like y'all have, you know, in Louisiana and East Tennessee. I mean, the East Texas. We're good. We better go get some grub and every, everything else is done. Just got to... Put it in the water in the morning and go. We're gassed up, fueled up, juiced up, ready to go. Biggest shad's going in this lake right there. Mm -hmm. Spinner bait. Other you side. Serious? You are being a little bit serious. That's some dead serious. Wow. You missed two cuts, bud. You start thinking about it. And then they place an AY. Hey, just gotta respect it, okay? I hear you. Rookie. What are you not doing this week? I'm not drinking that many beers. I'm not saying I'm not drinking no beers. 34 ounce dos equis. Yeah. Gotta change some shit up. We've been here twice, once in the fall, or I've been here twice, once in the fall, and then last year, about a month ago. It's full of fish, got big ones. Um, it's had my number, to be honest, both times. Couldn't figure it out, so I got some redemption this week. I know it's full of cypress trees and it looks like back home. It's a big lake, um, never been. Anxious to get out there and see what it's about, you know. I think I'll feel like home with all the cypress trees, but it's a lot to break down. You know, we're here in late April, almost May, so the pads and the grass and stuff are gonna be coming up and it's gonna be different than I've ever seen. There's gonna be a lot of grass around the trees. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna move the fish, but things are gonna be a little different. Been here a few times. I like the way it sets up, but I've never really figured them out here. 
I wish I could tell you I could just go flip a jig on a cypress tree all day long, but it's, they don't eat it here. It's crazy. Pretty sure there's a time when they do, but not right now. Practice been weird. I mean, getting a couple big bites every day, but it's like one here and one there type deal. It's random. It's really nothing to go on. Um, they got this lake full of big fish, and you know, I'm seeing one or two a day of them, but it's not enough in one area yet. But we still got one more day tomorrow, and hopefully we can dial something in. figure out how to catch some big fish. I know there's a frog bite somewhere, I just don't think I've figured it out yet. Uh, we got some weather coming in, some, some strong winds and some rain. So last time my area was pretty good and the rain muddied it up. So kind of looking at that, seeing how much rain is expected see what's going to get muddy, see what's going to stay clear, and we still have a full day to practice, so we'll see. It's probably going to be fishing pretty tough, actually. Uh, still going to be some fish on beds on the south end of both lakes, but that mid-lake stuff where a lot of fish have been getting caught, uh, they're going to be post-spawn, but not post-spawn enough to eat very good. You see that fish come after it? Oh, might have been old Grinsky. Well, they were doing it the first morning I found them, they were bass. I think it's pike or bass, Jesse? Let's hope it's bass. <laughs> <laughs> cool. How can they miss it like that? Whatever they are, we done made them smart. It's gonna be a shad spawn. Seen a little bit of a shad spawn both mornings, uh, but the fishing's tough. It's tough just to go fishing and catch them. You know, you got to be looking at them, or or in the right areas. So, you know, I'm keying that in just a little bit. I just hadn't seen the size yet. Between me, God Almighty, do you see that? Seven-pound bass. Oh man, this just messed my head up so bad on where to start. How do you expect this place to fish this week? I don't know if I did, I'd tell you. <laughs> uh, how do I expect it to fish? I, dude, this is gonna be tough, dude. I'm gonna have um, a lot of bed fish to be caught. The last of the bed fish. I don't feel like there's a big wave pulling up, but I got like 15 to 20 on beds. If that comes through, I'll be all right, but you know, it is what it is. I'm having a hard time getting bit just fishing. Frogging, swim jigging, swim baits around the grass, like. It sets up so good, like such, the grass is so pretty, but I just can't get a bite just fishing. And I'm, I'm committing to the shallow deal because it's what I love to do. Um, it may turn around and bite me in the ass, we'll find out later. Uh, I think majority of the fish are gonna be done spawning. I think you'll still have a few spawning down south, but you know, I think there'll be a shad spawn kicking off in certain areas, but you know, it's, it's a lot of trees, a lot of water. You know, it's a lot to break down and dissect when you've never been, and especially to how to get around as a, you know, a major factor here without ripping your motor off. Yeah, I found some good ones this morning, but I, they never ate my bait. I mean, one did, like a four pounder, but I had, you know, five and a seven and multiple other fish try to eat it. So I don't know if I should start here or start up there where I found those other fish. 25 pounds out here on this flat. Shouldn't have, said, shouldn't have done that. Freaking beast. Good God, look at that bass. Freaking 30 pound bag within 100 yards here every day. I had to jack her like I hadn't caught one all day. God, it's gonna mess me up. I literally think that was just like the luckiest thing ever. I ain't got enough time to dissect. I just gotta make a couple casts. 
Hope one bites it and gives me a clue. Just grinding, hadn't been bit in hours. six pounder to shake. <laughs> Still on it. That came out of my mouth at the right time. That was a four or five pounder. Tasted out of that mat. That's a wrap. Santee Cooper. Practice is done. Did what we want to do today, find out how to catch a big one. Problem is we caught it. <laughs> but we had some other bites we didn't catch. The new problem is we got two really good starting spots. <laughs> Going to new tackle. Drink a couple bush lights hammer their ass tomorrow. Nader chasers. I'm trying to get the boat in the, the shop before it freaking monsoons on us, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. Two miles away and it is black right there. Get on that mower, I'll give him that. You know that shirt's cold as hell on his back. <laughs> I'm laughing, I hope my windows are up. No, we got meat taking guessing. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs and Davey left his windows down. <laughs> Sitting in front of the guys mowing the yard in the rain and Davey's like, shit, my windows. <laughs> Look at the wind. Oh my gosh, Brad's getting dominated. Brad Wiley, hope you're okay out there, buddy. No. <laughs> I was so concerned about getting the grass cut or the weeds cut. Didn't think about the windows down. I was watching the dude cut the weeds with my windows down. It's pouring down rain. I'm marveling at how, how he's so tough. I'm sitting there to let my Toyota fill up with water. Uh, oh, you were like, uh, oh shit, my windows are down. I was like, ha, ha, ha. And you took off front. I was like, oh, <laughs> he's being serious. Been sitting here for 30 minutes saying it was coming. Here's the boys. <laughs> when you took that picture of me last night after we went to bed? Yeah. <laughs> no, I see Jesse sleeping, Lee's sleeping. I'm like, like there is no way I am not getting this picture. Can't. Sleeping funeral style. <laughs> 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 That dude's been embalmed, the service is ready. <laughs> they didn't even bury him in a suit, they, they buried him in a t-shirt. How are you feeling going into tomorrow? Oh. Been a tough week. Uh, finally had a couple bites today in one area, so I think I'm gonna be able to put my head down and grind it out in that area and hope to get five. I mean, not gonna spin out, not gonna run around. We're just gonna kind of zone in on one area and see where it takes us we need to get some momentum going we need to get you know things back on the right track we don't miss two checks so we need to get back you know try to get a check didn't have a great practice get in that cut line fish saturday get some money you know gain a bunch of points try to get back close to making that classic so that's the goal this week i'm nervous as all get out i have touched with my hands a total of two keepers in three days Get a little shaddy spawn deal going, get a nice little bit on the boat, and if I roll up and some of them big ones are still there, could have a good day tomorrow. And we need it badly, you know, we're down in the 80 somethings in points, so a lot of pressure this week. Got 10 grand to pay on Tuesday, so we better win this one. This shit's tough. You get the pressure of making a check on your shoulders, pressure of paying a deposit on your shoulders. Pressure of paying your bills on your shoulders, feeding your family. It's a crazy game we play, man. It 
really is. It um, it's a blessing and it's fun to do, but man, is it stressful. Never would have thought catching a fish could be so stressful. But. Try not to let it affect how you fish, but it it can happen sometimes. It happens to a lot of good anglers too. Uh, you know, hopefully we'll have a shad spawn. You know, right now it's up in the air still. We figured out a few little deals to get bites today and uh, had a couple bigger bites yesterday. Um, trying not to spread myself out. Kind of broke down a big area. And now we're just gonna go tomorrow uh, kind of towards takeoff on the main lake and see if we can figure out how to get a bigger bite. What do you have, Caleb? An abscess tooth. Let me punch you in the jaw. That might help. Really? I do. And it just got worse this morning or last night. Didn't sleep a wink. Day one, Santee Cooper. We're both 76. Not sure what to do yet. I still haven't decided left or right. There's a shad spawn going on. We're not taking off until seven. And then we're boat 76. And then if we have a fog delay, you know, that, that bite's gonna diminish big time. But I need to get in there and hunker down and catch some fish. You know, I've got two, two decisions on where to start and hope I make the right decision. That's it. Still can't see it good enough, but it took it that time. I wouldn't think it is, but there's no telling if it is. Keeper. 
Jack's Creek, even the swamp, catfished me. I don't know what the f happened, dude. I mean, I, I could have caught 30 pounds yesterday. All you, all you do is now is figure out what not to do tomorrow. Shit, now I gotta catch 30 pounds tomorrow, so I gotta go back up there. Lee Livesey, three fish here today. Six pounds, two ounces, put you in 71st place and not a spot you're used to being in. No, that was one of the toughest days of my life. Uh, man, thank God for uh, a good family and some good sponsors and some cold bush light because that's a rough day right there. Uh, that sucks. Thanks, man. Dude, I mega got catfished. I thought it'd be so easy to catch him on a wacky worm in the swamp. Just keepers, 10 to 18 pounds. Yeah, it's not good for the it's not fun. numbers. Shit, i kill your year. Do that again. Dude, I got one of the best practices I've ever had. Winding on them. Frogging? Yeah. Like Jesse was me, I could have had 30 something yesterday. Like I only caught one of them. And it was a, like a nine, you know? But they were big ones. Like, cat, worst I've ever been catfished. Like, and I, I mean, I wasn't stupid. I yeah. went through a wacky worm for like four hours. Four. Just to, oh, I just need to catch me a few of them. I'll give them tomorrow. Thanks for these sodas. Yep. Hey, uh, it's just, it's a bad deal. <laughs> That's a bad day. Just nothing went right, eh? Oh, gee, you have no idea. Come on. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this gas pump caught on fire right now. And that was like a good practice too. I was like in the zone every day, didn't run around, tried to keep it. I don't know if the rain messed them up up there or what. I think that was the hardest I ever worked in my life for 14 pounds. And everybody around me had 20. I'm doing something wrong. In the right area, just doing something wrong. You gotta figure something out for tomorrow. Happy with it. I'll take it. Just hope to get some big bites tomorrow. I said, you think Caleb's gonna drink a beer tonight? He blamed the last tournament on uh, the beer. I bet he's gonna kill every bush light he gets his hands on. Throw over there, won't eat it. I have like one minute left. Throw my freaking BF toad out there. Goose! Ate it like the other ones did. Caught my third one. So I don't know if it was the sun or if they just had a hangover from that storm. <laughs> Having a bad day. You're about to light me on fire. <laughs> Having a bad day. <sighs> don't smoke any cigarettes tonight. <laughs> Talk about almost dying. I'm sitting there pumping gas. Jesse's right here. I'm just like talking about how crappy of a day I had, you know, complaining. La, la, la. About that time, I got it on blast. Slips out. <laughs> Spray Jesse's ass with the gas hose. Sprayed everybody, but I got Jesse and me and everybody. I was like, dude, that's how my day went. Like, I had the worst day ever. Yeah, I did too. You know how I knew it was going to be a bad day? I stood there to get there. It wasn't nothing happening. Like, I went through five rods in 10 minutes. And I'm like, yep, this ain't happening. Just the definition of shitting the bed. Almost zeroed. Got in a bad rotation with bedfish. Didn't hang it out, didn't. 
didn't stick it out long enough because rumor has it they all bit later in the day just felt the pressure spun out running around like crazy just never settled down rookie shit you bought a 12 dollar bottle of pickled brussels sprouts that's what i said i said i wouldn't have bought these if i looked at the price tag <laughs> Glad I bought them, they were good. Yeah, they were. What'd you just order, Caleb? A 34 ounce Dos Equis. I just catch those two fish on the bed. Like 12 pounds. So by the time I spent an hour and a half on the two big ones, and then I decided to go run to the easy keepers, they were gone. They were either caught or gone. I wouldn't do that better. I was casting at least. Catch me back. And they do bite tomorrow. That's <laughs> not. Nice. 30 red. 30 red. dug ourselves a, a huge hole at the very bottom of the pack. Caught three bass for six pounds, two ounces yesterday. So we need about 23, 22, 23 today to get back in it. I think I'm gonna go back up there and just try some different baits, uh, square bill a lot more, keep that worm out of my hand and not frog. I'm not gonna, I mean, I'll frog a little bit, but sound like crackhead. <laughs> but uh, just go up there and fish. And if we bomb, we bomb. If not, I know the fish are up there. Just got to figure out how to catch them. This is the Avco of Bassmaster Elite at Santee Cooper Lakes. 104 anglers battling it out. But after today, only the top 50 move on to semifinals Saturday at the fourth stop of the 2023 Bassmaster Elite Series. Dropping it
big bites today. Got one today, but no keeper. So maybe two. I don't know. I gotta measure one again. I mean, he barely. Does. Yeah, Sandy has my number. For sure. The two guys got him around me. Or, well, they did yesterday. I don't know what they got today. So, got out fished. Six pounds, two ounces yesterday. Three fish to add to that here today. 15 pounds, five ounces gives him 21 pounds, seven ounces. And man, those, uh, those two fish right there kind of saved your tournament this week. Yeah, I actually caught that seven pounder pretty much on my last cast, uh, just on the way back. Didn't I thought it was a carp, and I fought it for about a minute just trying to see what kind of carp it was, and it was a seven pound largemouth. But uh, man, I love Santee Cooper. Uh, she just doesn't love me. I'm ready to go back to Texas and see my family and love on my baby girl. I'll see y'all later. I got you. Here's your buddy. Get that shad's going early boat number this morning. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> It'll be a long drive home. It, so this year to me has been is like Everybody's coming into their own this year. Oh, yeah. Like, it's happening. I did a podcast with Mercer talking about it earlier this year. Yeah, I felt yeah. it. I felt everybody getting oh, yeah. more serious. Right. Like, everybody's like, oh, okay. Right. No, it's like, you got to catch them every single now day. Everybody, that's badass now. Yeah. So, like, my fucking ass has been ran over by a tractor trailer, backed up and then ran over again. South Carolina ate my lunch and then some. As a competitor, it pisses me off, like bad. Because I'm better than that. And it sucks, you know? You work hard for something and you can't figure it out. It's like a problem that you can't figure out. So there's three bad ones for the year and a major hole to be able to, we gotta dig ourselves out of for the year. So all that's going through my head too, you know. Of course, I'd be lying if I say it wasn't on my mind while I was fishing, but you can't have that on your mind. You just gotta fish what you can fish. This week was rough, it was tough. Uh, when we ended up 68th, we had 14 something yesterday when we had two today for eight six. Um, pretty place, bunch of trees, got a bunch of big ones, but didn't really figure it out changed on me every day and you know it is what it is salvage a few points cut a small check on to the next one uh, finished up in 71st place we actually saved a lot of points today we were in 96 jumped up to 71st got a little paycheck saved a ton of points um weighed three fish for 15 pounds and some odd ounces woulda coulda shoulda day uh had opportunities just couldn't hook up on to the next one. We're all trash. I'm gonna get Santee Cooper one day. I'm gonna win here one day. Just wait. This was their number one pick. <laughs> Jack Logan shacks the table if anybody can dance. We all put it at Logan. I ain't drink, I ain't drink here enough to dance. Yeah. Good job.